to another vlog for another Markdown Monday. Pixie Beauty products are 10% off on Target Cartwheel. And these are my holy grails that I use to cleanse my skin with. Matter of fact, I need to do a get unready with me. And then this is the Iman Press Powder. I'm going to get this and some tone body wash and get a $5 gift card back and be out of here. So in this particular Target, the 15 cent off the tone body wash, buy four, get a $5 gift card back. I will not be getting that because they don't carry tone hair like that really sucks. Now I'm going to switch to the caress, the dollar off the one caress, buy four, get a $5 gift card back. But caress is not on cartwheel, like Target is killing my vibe. And keep in mind, my out-of-pocket price will not be the same as yours because I got like $400 in gift cards. But I think I'm about to spend like $60, but I'm going to get $10 back. So that ain't the best, but I really need those Pixie face products. Nighttime at CVS, buy two, get $5. Um, these right here were so bomb. I'm going to get two of these because they got nothing else really that I want. I'm, I'm Maybelline out at the moment, but I want my $5. NYX is back. Spend $15, get $5. Ain't got nothing I really want, but when all else failed, these jumbo pencils right here make the best eyeshadow bases ever. So I'm going to clean up on this. CVS, I think sometimes just be priced higher just off general, but you got to know how to coupon to come up in here. There's no doubt about it, we are. Yeah, definitely. All right. All right, and I'm getting back $10. Call cool, me. See that CVS coupon? All right now, freebies, I like that. Keep in mind again, you have to start from somewhere, people. You have to start. So right here, I got back five extra care bucks from the Kleenex Cottonelle Scots Reward. That's all of this. And then I got another five for the um, Spend 15 and NYX products. And I have these. So I walked in the door with almost 60 bucks in ECB. By the time I cashed out and used coupons, my total was zero and got back So there's four bucks. paper towels. This was one transaction. Um, you can only get the $5 once, like one deal per card. So I used my sister's card and did a second transaction, the same thing. And I got the $5 for spending 10 in Maybelline. And then the five for the $20 household deal. And this ended up running me about $4 because I added on these cleansers that was $1.99 on clearance. And I okay, let's have Target talk. Because a lot of people think Target is expensive, but you can coupon at Target and really get some good deals. Remember when I stated the tone deal wouldn't work? Well, I jumped on the Caress, which had 25% off in the cartwheel. So you get 25% off of each bottle. And then I went back with the $1 off one Caress body wash coupon. So I used four $1 off coupons and got a $5 gift card back. So generally what happens with Target is say I got the $5 gift card back from that and I want to roll it into this transaction. Most Targets will tell you we can't do that because you just got the gift card on this transaction so you can't use it in the same day per se or some BS like that. So this is the $5 that I got back from the Caress deal, right? The Caress deal would have cost me $15.92. I used a $5 gift card, bringing it to $10 and change. But I went into my personal stash and grabbed another $10 out of here. So this quote unquote was free and I got $5 right back. So now you're at the register and you got the $5 from the Caress deal. And you get over here and you do the degree deal. Buy four, get a $5 off gift card plus 25% on cartwheel. Plus your manufacturer coupons, four degree deodorants would have run you $12. So now you want to cut into that 12 by using this five. That now puts you paying $7 out of pocket, but when you cash this out, you use the five from the caress. So that's gone. That's dead, right? When you cash this out, they're going to hand you another five. You see what I'm doing? So all you're doing is rolling it. So I'm all dry face today, no makeup, but that's cool. But what I wanted to tell you all is you're going to run into those employees who think they're like Mr. and Mrs. Target USA who are going to tell you I can't cash that out and use that gift card in the next transaction. For somebody like me, I always tell them it doesn't matter. If you want to cash that out and 
hold it to the side so I don't use it. I'm just going to go in my purse and whoop out my stash anyway. So you might as well give it to me. So now on to the good part. I broke my Pixie up in four transactions for a reason because of my coupons. But my Pixie Glow Tonic and this Iman Press Powder, I bought that together. And you see here where the cartwheel, it took off the 10%. Iman also was 15%. I didn't know that but that was my fault because I didn't check like I should but it was so I used about $30 in gift cards um, bringing my total to 685 out of pocket but for the pixie I got back another $5 so I got back $10 so I spent six only to get 10 but I use 30 in gift cards. So every time I use a gift card, basically all I'm doing is just replenishing it. I never do a gift card deal where I got to give them away without getting something back. So let's see if y'all keeping up with me. The $5 I got from this, I killed that because I used it on this. Then the $5 I got from this, I rolled it into one of the Pixie Toners. Then when I cashed out with the Pixie Toner and the Iman Powder, I got a five back and I stopped there. Going on to my second cleanser, which was $15. And on Cartwheel, I used another 10 for that, paying $5 out of pocket, but I got another five right back. So instead of using this one into this one, I just paused it and kept it. Y'all get it? And then you move into the double cleansers, which I love. These were $24. I did the same thing. I used $10 in gift cards for each one of them and still got so five So let's back. recap. Everything I got up here, I used Cartwheel. And I redeemed about $50 in gift cards from my Christmas stash. But I still walked out with $20. So that was a good deal to me. Okay? I hope y'all can rock Target someday. So I'm laying on the floor all dramatic and whatnot. So in case you say, well, how do we build our gift card stash if we always rolling it and spending it? The easy way, what I tell people to do is do yourself two deals with the $5 gift card. Take those two deals that you do, get your $5 gift card and put these to the side. These are going to be the ones that you roll and when you start doing other deals, don't touch those ones. Delegate you two of them that you're going to roll into transactions and roll only and then you build your stash and you'll be like, this is the don't touch pop. I'll see y'all next time. Makeup related, I'm sure.